Hi, I'm Dr. Lexi Lane with Summit Vitality and welcome to Dr. Lexi's Kitchen. Today we're going to be demonstrating soluble fiber versus insoluble fiber. And basically we're going to simulate what that might look like when you're eating foods and what it's, what's happening in your digestive tract. So we have a tablespoon of psyllium husk fiber. This will be soluble fiber. We've got a tablespoon of chia seeds which is gonna be a food that will demonstrate both soluble and insoluble properties. And then we have a tablespoon of flax seeds. And then what I'm gonna do is add two or three tablespoons to each of these of water. Okay, now we're gonna stir it because this is us chewing our food and taking our time. So you're already seeing an immediate starting of digestion. <laughs> you're already seeing when you start your digestion how the soluble fiber is starting to thicken up almost immediately, how the chia seeds are kind of demonstrating a little bit of both properties of clumping together, but also staying away from water. And then the flax seed is, you know, the water staying outside of the seed itself. It's not quite clumping up like your psyllium husk is. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for 30 minutes and we'll come back and so you can actually see what it looks like after you eat the food. Okay, so we're back and it's 30 minutes later and let's see the results. So psyllium husk fiber is a soluble fiber and you're gonna notice it kind of doesn't move. And then we have chia seeds, which have both properties of psyllium, both properties of soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. And when I move it around, it will actually move and you can see that. Um, and then whenever uh, you take a closer look, you'll notice that there's a gelatinous property to it. So it is clumping kind of like the psyllium husk, but there is still a little bit of water that's outside of the seed. And then the flax seed is pretty easy to, to see that it really does move around. It doesn't really clump quite like psyllium husk. So flax seed is a good representation of insoluble fiber. So just really quickly, soluble fiber, as you can see, is a binder. So it's gonna bind to toxins, it's gonna bind to excess cholesterol, it's gonna slow down absorption of sugars. Um, and then also if you have looser stool or diarrhea, you're gonna wanna think about soluble fibers. Um, as far as insoluble fibers, insoluble fibers are great for constipation. They are there to keep your bowel moving. So um, a combination of the different types of fibers is obviously really great. And you're also noticing the importance of hydration when you're starting to think about fibrous foods, nuts, seeds, fruits, and vegetables. There are some whole grains that are great for, um, for fiber as well. Um, so think about that as well. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and eat some fiber. Thank you.